the loan is not good because let's say they dug deeper and going through the final approval of your loan and found out you got student loan debt. You didn't tell me about this. This is like $500 on top of your monthly debt. Oh, we can't give you that loan for 500K no more, Charles. I'm so sorry. You're gonna have to cancel. You will be shattered, right? You'll be pissed, huh, Charles? Another thing that sucks is, um, did you know that be beginning of October, Charles, student loan payments began? So student loans were on a halt for a while, for many years because of Rona. And remember, Biden was also trying to fight to get rid of st uh, student loan debt. That didn't go through. That didn't pass. So the student loan repayment plan starts in October. So every student that had put their payments on hold for all these years have to start making payments to their school loans starting in October 1st. Why am I bringing it up? A lot of first time home buyers have student loan debt because they're millennials. That's a, a majority percentage of buyers right now. If they have student loans on top of inflation, on top of the rates going up, on top of prices not coming down anytime soon, on top of low inventory, they have another layer of debt that they have to pay now. If they haven't been paying it for the past couple of years. For the people that have not been paying it for the past couple of years, you know, like, they're probably penny pitching everything right now. And then now they have to resume the payment. It's going to be brutal. Just to shine some light on the topic, your provider might have solutions for you. If you your student loan debt resumed and you don't know how you're going to be able to make the payments because you're barely scraping by. They have programs. They have income driven plans that's basing it off of your income and your debt. They have uh, deferments. If you still qualify for deferment, they have a lot of programs. So call your provider to see if they can work with you. Okay. Now, some student loans are not factored into your debt because when your lender that's doing your pre-approval is running your credit, sometimes some student loan debt does not show up. They got to do, I forgot what it's called. Gosh, I wish Lisa was here right now, but there's a term for it. They got to do a certain credit pool to reveal that you have student loans especially if it's in deferment because they still have to consider a certain percentage of your student loan payment as debt okay because remember like what i said earlier banks lend based off of a risk factor and the risk factor is also determined by running your debt to income ratio so that student loan percentage amount gets added onto like a monthly debt against your monthly income to determine how much you can purchase in today's market. If you haven't done that yet, if you did not know that student loan payment resumed and you're in the process of buying a home and you do have student loan debt, talk to your mortgage lender that you're working with right now to make sure they, in, they are add that into your debt too. So that way it's accurate because the last thing you want right now in this market is let's say you got in contract with the home find a home of your dreams for the price that you were able to afford at, at the right interest rate you call charles to do the inspection everything came back clean you order your appraisal it came back good the loan is good well the loan is not good because let's say they dug deeper and going through the final approval of your loan and found out you got student loan debt. You didn't tell me about this. This is like $500 on top of your monthly debt. Oh, we can't give you that loan for 500K no more, Charles. I'm so sorry. You're gonna have to cancel. We can't help you give this loan no more unless you have $50,000 as a down payment to, to lower your debt to income ratio that yeah, we could resume. But if you don't, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to look for a different price point, maybe 350K. You will be shattered, right? You'll be pissed, huh, Charles? You removed those contingencies already. You paid good money to hire an inspector and appraiser to come out. Everything went by smoothly, and bam, this gets founded and detected during the uh, underwritten phases of your loan. You don't wanna do that, okay? That's why I'm sharing this. So that way you guys could go and talk to your lenders and make sure that they factor that loan of the student debt into your debt to income ratio before they do it in escrow. Because some lenders will do that. Some lenders just want the business because they're, everybody's fighting for business right now. And they didn't do a proper due diligence on your financial background and found out that you have student loan debt. So bring it up. If you know about it, bring it up. And it brings me to my next thing. If you're a buyer and you know that you are a co-signer at a different house that has another title or a different home, bring that up. Don't let them figure it out on their own. Bring it up. 
they're gonna find out when they go through the discovery phase they're gonna find all of that out like don't lie about your income don't lie about your debt don't lie about all that you know bring it up you're gonna buy a home and you're very serious about buying a home bring all that up to your lender trust them with that information that they would do right by you the best thing they could do for you if you don't qualify is hey look you don't qualify now based off of all this discovery but if you want to qualify in the future here's what you do you tackle this 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 and this and now you're qualified at least now you have a game plan on what to do to be able to buy later on down the road versus lying your way through escrow thinking they're not going to find out thinking that you're a slick ninja you're not slick when it comes to your credit report and all that you're not slick they're going to discover it when they run your social security number and do all that it's going to come up okay they're going to see all your debt all your workplaces all your income all your addresses they're going to see everything because remember a lender your loan officer is not the one that's giving you the mortgage to buy the home the investors that they partner with is the one that's giving you the money so that loan officer has to write a pretty story to go and entice these investors to want to give you the money to buy your home so it could be something along the lines of charles skinner is an awesome home inspector he's been doing it for the past 10 years and he brings in 300k a year and his debt is zero dollars a month and he's willing to fork out fifty thousand dollars for the down payment to buy a five hundred thousand dollar home like they have to write something pretty like that okay but if the investors see that oh they got a lot of debt they lied about this they lie about that then that's a risk for them they're not going to want to invest in you no more and give you the money to buy a home anymore did you know that's how it worked at charles i did not know about that part i did not, yeah. I, did not I didn't know that you could do all that so a good loan originator loan officer could make you look hella good and present it to a bunch of investors to see if they will be willing to bite and give you money to buy a home i did not know that it's almost like Writing that offer letter and putting in the letter and talking about all that stuff, right? It's, it's like with your agent, it's, it's, it's crazy. I didn't realize that. Yeah. So that's for the loan officers and their investors, right? About the cover letter and the personal letter that you're referring to when we put with our offers, we can't even do that no more. Really? During 2020, so many people were writing letters and it got to the point where so many sellers were complaining because they felt terrible that there was hundreds of offers coming in with personal letters and they could only choose one offer. So it got too emotional and personal that they made a big deal about it and now car does not allow any agent to submit a personal letter with offers anymore isn't that crazy that is you guys ever wonder why rules are created rules are created because something happened in a period of time that caused people to be unhappy for a season and then they made a rule about it <laughs> so somebody ruined it for everybody somebody ruined it for all of y'all first time old buyers right mm -hmm. now <laughs> yep yep all right well you know i'm gonna close up with that i know we didn't go over all the topics i wanted to go over but we still got next week still have next time so tell your friends tell your family tell your workers Tell your cats, your dogs. I think I'm going to close it out. All right, Chi Chi fam. So you guys take care. Thank you again for joining us today. All the likes, all the comments. We appreciate you guys. We'll be back next time. Peace.